purpose. Yeah, well, uh, so the history on, on uh, House leadership is we had the hammer, Tom DeLay, and, and now we have the Wicked Witch of the West, you know, um, uh, Nancy Pelosi, uh, who's twisting arms and making, you know, having her aides making threats and stuff like that. What, was that, was that really happening? Supposedly. I mean, that's, that's the, it, it got heavily reported, and I've heard no contradictions um, uh, of that. And, you know, the, the fact is that when Tom, and Tom DeLay, in his day, got his way, and uh, in this case, her first outing, uh, she, she, as Charles says, she lost by, by two to one. Now, I kind of disagree. I, I think Steny Hoyer is a team player, and uh, I think that, that he that this experience will make him at least temporarily um, super loyal to, to Nancy Pelosi, that he will try his best to make her a successful speaker. Why would this only make, why would the, here's a man who got himself elected majority leader mm -hmm. against her opposition, right. over her opposition. But he's not going to cross well, her. Well, maybe. But why would that make him more rather than less loyal to because, her? Because, of the, because the experience is not a pleasant one to be, uh, to be challenged. I mean, it's nice to win. But the whole idea, normally speaking, he would have just uh, arisen without a challenge. And so now, uh, having, having been challenged, he survived the challenge. But I think that it, it, it will make him, he is a team player anyway. I think he'll be more of a team player. Boy, I don't. I think she's probably going to ignore him. 